Thank you for having me. Uh, también gracias a toda la gente de Yucatán uh, para la bienvenida en este lugar. Me encanta mucho. Gracias. Uh, my name is Ryan Hazen. I am a learning designer turned sales executive for Moodle US. Um, and this presentation is about a course that I've built to help facilitate the discovery, needs assessment, and uh, quoting process for potential clients that we talk to uh, at Moodle US. Uh, now, as a learning designer, I, uh, we have a saying in the United States, to a hammer, everything looks like a nail. So uh, as a learning designer, obviously when I started working in sales, I asked myself the question, how can we use Moodle to help facilitate this process? How can I design a course that's gonna help uh, people understand and um, get to the heart of what they really need a software solution to do for them? Uh, so, first of all, here's the Moodle course with all of the sections collapsed. Um, it's meant to demonstrate simple, modern course design using only the features found in Moodle Core LMS. Now, I know that this um, session was labeled workplace, but everything in this presentation can be done in Core Moodle. Uh, that was very important to me as someone who started working with Core Moodle. And for the potential client, this is as much a tour of Moodle as a tool for determining their needs. So uh, let's get straight to the point. Um, a lot of times when clients are talking to a sales executive, they will lead with the question, how much is this gonna cost? Uh, that's understandable, it's important. Budgeting is an important part of uh, adopting a software solution for any organization. So, uh, at the top of the course, I created a quiz called the Pricing and Effort Calculator. Now, this quiz is a series of questions that are meant to uncover your needs, not just with the LMS, but with integrations and other softwares you might be using in tandem with the LMS. Uh, but it's also meant to sort of stealthily help educate you as a uh, client, a potential client of Moodle. So, um, this is, for example, the first question in my quiz. Um, we at Moodle US provide two types of learning management system. There is the Moodle Core LMS and there's Moodle Workplace LMS. These are two different things. They have two different pricing structures. They serve two different needs. So for us, it's important to help understand what is the difference between the core product and what is the difference between the workplace product. Now, you'll notice that uh, there are a lot of links in here. This is no accident. This is very much on purpose. I, as the sales executive, and really more as an LMS solutions consultant, want to educate and give the learner the opportunity to dive deeper into these products. Uh, so, for example, I would like to dig deeper with auto-linking. If anyone in here has used Moodle, a lot, you'll know that there's a filter, auto-linking. Anytime you use the exact words that are the title of an activity anywhere in the course, it's gonna auto-link to them. So, what is this uh, auto-link right here? This is a link to something that's further down the original course page that you might not look to if you just go in and you wanna see the price. It's a lesson about Moodle Workplace LMS, okay? There it is. Now, um, you see what I've done here, is this? Oh no, I, oh, oh, I thought I had the laser pointer here, but maybe I don't. Um, the, uh, there's another important thing here. Um, there are two sets of uh, completion requirements. Now, I have done this, I've viewed this, so I've opened up the lesson and I've looked at it, but I've not actually gone through the activity to the end. This is gonna remind the learner that they, while they might have looked at it, they haven't really seen the full uh, lesson of everything that Workplace can do. Um, so let's dig into that a little bit. Uh, these product lessons, and this is the lesson activity that we're looking at here, this is actually a screenshot of that lesson that, that we would be looking at, are designed to include some important elements. First of all, text explanations. 
If you're like me, you are the kind of person that reads things rather than consumes video or audio to, to learn about things. That's just my preferred mode of learning things. Uh, but in order not to privilege just, you know, readers, I also have recorded demonstrations of the product itself. So this is an embedded video from YouTube where I'm going through programs and certifications. You know, we click here, we add uh, courses to a program. We put this program in context of a certification that then puts it on a chronological cadence. So for that um, employee compliance training that Emilio was talking about earlier, you know, this is, this is that tool. Uh, there's also easy access back to the pricing quiz. This is on every single page. I want the learners at any point to say, hey, I've gotten what I need. I'm going to go back to that pricing quiz and I'm going to continue filling it out. I'm going to pick up where I left off. Also, free navigation of essential product features. So if you're familiar with the architecture of the lesson activity, it um, allows you to put pages and then jump between those pages in any order that you like. So at any point, I, this is my idea of what is the essential product feature set of Moodle Workplace, multi-tenancy, organization structure, dynamic rules, and programs and certifications. That's the thing that's, that I think are really the highlights that you need to know that differentiate Workplace from Moodle Core. Um, here's a hosting lesson. Uh, this is actually a different lesson, but I wanted to jump into it a little bit to show that the structure is still the same. Um, we have a reference to the Moodle Cloud standard plans, uh, which we, we all know exists. They're uh, uh, very inexpensive, but don't include support integrations, those kinds of things. And then our Moodle Cloud premium solutions are what I, as a sales executive with Moodle US, am um, arranging and putting together and, and, and selling to folks that are talking about us. Also notice that we have links to our architecture, to what we mean by stacks, and to the backup cycle. Those are the most common questions that I get up front having conversations with people about premium solutions. Um, again, auto-linking throughout. You can go anywhere in this course, from anywhere else in this course, at the time that you want to learn that information. Uh, professional services lesson. Um, hosting is distinct from professional services. So once you've decided whether you're gonna host in the premium side, you wanna host in standard plans, or uh, however you wanna do that, um, we offer other services, support, onboarding, infrastructure, custom development. If you need to know what we mean by these terms, there's a page in this professional services lesson for each of them. You can go and you can learn about them at any time when you need it. So there are my myriad benefits to uh, this quiz. Now, what you're looking at here is um, the professional services question uh, in the quiz. Now, unlike the workplace and core LMS question, which was previous to this in the quiz, this is a multi-select because people might need more than one of these services. Do I want a custom domain? Do I need to uh, migrate from one Moodle to this Moodle? Do I need a single sign-on integration? Do I need a student information system integration? There's HRAS, there's, there's more stuff to this question. This is just all that fit on the slide. Um, but it's a multi-select question, so you can go through and check all the things that you want, uh, that you might be interested in, in a quote. Um, so the benefits to this are customer education. We are teaching the people who are looking for solutions, all of the components. They are learning for themselves, but it also benefits us to have a more uh, robust conversation when we actually start talking to them, we sort of springboard uh, clients into this you know, discussion about Moodle services. Uh, it's also needs analysis. I know what you need based on how you've responded to this quiz. It showcases the products and the services that we have, so you can see a menu of the things that we need, that we offer. It's also an advertisement for services. You might not know that uh, custom domains are available. You might not know that we could migrate one Moodle to another. You might not know that we can plug into your student information system and send grades directly back to your SIS for Moodle. So uh, it's advertising these products to 
uh, the, the potential customer as well. It also aligns expectations, and this, this one is critical. Um, when we're talking to putting, when we're talking to clients about putting together LMS solutions as LMS services providers, um, it is so important to align expectations that these, this is how complex this project can be. There's no point in hiding that. It's better to get it out up front and explain that, yes, uh, align your expectations to the services that we provide rather than, uh, you know, uh, an expectation you might have that's unrealistic, which does happen. Uh, it also gives us insight into the customers and conversely, the customers get insight into us and how we work, what, pro what products and services we actually provide. Uh, it automates the sales process uh, and most importantly, it is a platform that you, as the LMS services provider, own. A lot of times we will pay for sales software, sales softwares that do uh, lots of uh, analysis that, that track our customer information, that uh, manage our relationships with these people. But um, we actually already own Moodle because we're Moodle providers. Um, so it's, uh, it's, it's a platform that we actually own. Now, uh, even more important than this, uh, this is the feedback, an example of feedback you might get from this quiz, okay? It tells you uh, what we're gonna recommend, uh, what kind of concurrency, what kind of storage, how much services that we're gonna provide. Uh, and we even have pricing there uh, as a starting point. So you can see up front what the, the pricing model is uh, for, for us, so we can start a conversation from a place of mutual understanding uh, about that. There's two different ways to do this. Uh, in this situation, I've actually done general feedback and done uh, ranges of feedback within the quiz so that if you score within certain scores, you get certain automated responses. You could also use grading uh, for the quiz as a way to um, calculate a potential pricing for, for a quote. So this is a way to help talk to, talk to folks and give them multiple opportunities because you can give them, say, two or three opportunities to respond to this quiz and get different pricing models based on, on what they want. I often hear, hey, can you give me a menu of pricing? Can you just show me all of your prices? And that's not something that's practical or reasonable to do. But three attempts on this quiz is a much more reasonable thing uh, to offer. Um, now we're gonna get into analytics. Um, and analytics about insight into customers who are looking for your products are a touchy subject for good reason. Um, however, bear with me uh, through this because uh, it's, it's important uh, here at the end how we're gathering this data and what we're doing with it. Um, so I can, as the teacher, use Moodle's already built course reporting to see what people have been looking at. If I have met with you and I've given you a login to this Moodle and you're uh, taking uh, responses to this quiz, I can see that you uh, were in the Moodle core LMS um, lesson. I can see that you're in the workplace LM LMS lesson. I can see that you didn't go to the hosting or professional services. So I have some insight into what you're actually looking for. And I see you haven't done anything in the pricing and effort calculator yet. So you haven't actually uh, taken the time to, to look at this. Um, I can also see in aggregate who is interested in what kind of services that we're providing. This is the statistics report for the quiz. Again, something that's already built into Moodle. Uh, and I see how many people are responding affirmatively to these different items. I can tell you just from this report that our most highest level of interest is for that HRS integration. 80% of people in this course are clicking that box to say, I am interested in this HRS integration. That's a valuable piece of insight. Um, this is the overall course report. Again, a report that's already built into Moodle. Uh, and it's telling me how many people have viewed, how many times, and when the last access to these tools were. 
you can see far and away, the pricing and effort calculator is the most popular thing there. That makes a lot of sense. People are gonna be viewing that because that's you know what they're here to learn mostly. Um, and then the next most common thing is the Moodle hosting um, lesson because people are trying to learn about the difference between the various levels of hosting that we offer. That's again, valuable insight about the customer that I can use to drive the way that I build my interactions with them, the way that I talk to them, and the way that I advertise to uh, their particular demographics. Um, this, does anybody, is anybody in here a learning designer? Does anybody in here really work with the Moodle courses? Okay, yeah, I, this is a sales presentation, so I, I wouldn't expect that many people to be in here, but as a teacher, this tool right here is incredible. It can tell me, I want to know who has been at the pricing and effort calculator in the last week with the role student that has done anything. I've blacked out the names over here so you can't see these people, but I'm seeing that these people have actions, these individuals have actions, and I can see that they've been there within the last week, in this case, four times and two times. Um, I can then select all yes, and at the bottom of this page, there's an option where you can send a message to everyone that you've selected. You can send a message to them and say, hey, I see you've been looking at that uh, pricing and effort calculator this week. Why don't you book an appointment? We'll talk it through. You have any questions, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be here for you. Um, again, another report that's already built into Moodle. We don't have to build anything else to, to do this. Uh, there's the send message interface. Once you've checked your people, send message, put it there, it's gonna email them. It's also gonna put a message to them within the Moodle uh, LMS. Now, this for me is the most important thing. When I have you sign up to my Moodle so that you can go through this pricing and effort calculator, I am making it very clear to you what my site policy is with this. You're logging in. You're volunteering to be a part of this. I have in my site policy that we are collecting your data about this and we're gonna use it to help facilitate the sales process. It's gonna make it easier. I'm gonna be more relevant to you because you are participating in this site voluntarily. Um, and for me, someone who's been in the open source uh, system, I've been working with Moodle for 12 years and I've been part of the open source community and very dedicated to it. Um, this transparency and agency up front for the customer uh, makes me feel very comfortable proceeding in a relationship with them because they have had the opportunity to review these terms and they can know that I am gonna look at your responses. More than that, I can say, this is Moodle tracking your work. I'm using it as a sales professional. It's empowering me. What's it gonna do to empower your teachers? I can even talk to you, I can be transparent. I can show you your records and how I'm interacting with you via Moodle. It's a pretty powerful thing. So, um, that's the presentation. Thanks again, everybody, for coming to, uh, to visit and be here at the, at the conference and uh, for coming to, see, coming to see the presentation.